Hey everybody, it's Heather. It's Friday and the week is over and the weekend's here. So I'm quite excited even though I didn't have school like all week. So anyways, since I haven't had any videos up, I was like, well, um, let me make a video and tell everybody a little bit about myself. What better way to tell everybody about yourself than to do funny questions? I'll ask myself the questions and answer the questions myself. Nothing wrong with that. So here it goes. Question one. Apple juice or orange juice? Um, orange juice. I know it's very acidic, but yeah. Apple juice sometimes it just tastes like, for lack of better words, pee. I still love it, but I'll take orange juice over apple juice any day. So, question two is, you're about to walk the Green Mile, what would your last meal be? The beverage for my last meal would have to be malt. The meal itself would just be a collaboration of my favorite things. My final dessert would have to include chocolate chip ice cream, the mint chocolate chip ice cream, uh, cherry cheesecake, and carrot cake. Th that would have to be my final dessert. Question three. What is your favorite song at the moment? My favorite song at the moment is a song by Jesse J called um, Who You Are. Uh, yeah, that is my favorite song at the moment. My favorite songs change from day to day and there's like a soundtrack to describe every day of my life. So, oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite questions of all time. What do you miss about being a kid? The number one 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 thing i miss about being a kid is the lack of responsibility you have you don't have to pay bills you don't have to cook for yourself shop for yourself nothing somebody does it for you that's what i miss about being a kid do you have any bad habits yes i do um biting my nails is a really bad habit see see none whatsoever that is a very bad habit the next bad habit i have is like not lifting my feet when i walk very bad habit stems from laziness but let's not get into that favorite childhood show big comfy couch hands down treehouse where it's at morning or night person i would have to say i'm definitely a night person before a morning person i can still wake up but i'm like slow my mind doesn't start processing things after like noon question eight is do you prefer salty or sweet snacks Honestly, it depends on the mood I'm in. Sometimes I feel for salty snacks. Sometimes I feel for sweet snacks. I hold them on an even playing field. The ninth question is, if you play truth or dare, what, which one would you pick most often? Um, it depends on who I'm playing with. I mean, if I'm playing with friends that I know and trust, I will more do dares because I'm just a risk taker like that. If I'm with people that I don't know or I'm not comfortable with, I'll usually pick truth just because you don't know what type of things they'll make you do that are uncomfortable or unsanitary. The tenth question is what is your favorite photo of yourself? Coming up right there. The next question is if you had 10 minutes to get anything in the mall for free what would you do i would raid chapters indigo kohl's and the world's biggest bookstore i would also raid bath and body works um what else would i be raiding i'd be raiding the music store i'd be raiding the grocery store because there's always one in the mall i'd be raiding hallmark for all the scrapbook stuff um that's what i'd be raiding yes that is and the electronics store Number 12 is if your friend had an uncontrollable gas problem, would you go out in public with them? Yes, most definitely I would because they're my friend and their tooting issues aren't any of anybody's business, so I wouldn't give a crap. Number 13, what is usually your first thought when you wake up? Um, thank goodness I woke up. Question 14, if you were given a million dollars, what would you do with it? I assume that this money is guilt-free and tax-free. I would thus invest it, buy a house, and put people in it, and rent it while I'm at school so I have income and don't have to work. Um, I would also go on vacation, uh, go on a shopping spree, donate a lot of it to charity is what I would do. Question 15, 15, 
what do you notice first in the opposite sex? I notice height first. Not because I'm an extremely tall person or anything, but I'm five seven and a half. If you're shorter than me, it's not a problem. It's just a thing that I notice automatically. I've always been, well, when I was younger, I was always taller than everybody else in my class and even the boys. So it's just a thing I naturally notice out of habit. Next question, what were one regret do you have? The one regret I'd say I have since I'm only 18, what have I done? Um, it would be high school because um, I didn't apply myself a lot, even though at times it wasn't my fault. But that would be the one regret I have so far. This is the question that I have encountered the most in the last two years of my life. Are you married or engaged? Okay, there's the ring. No, I am not married or engaged, although I have a ring on that finger. Um, it's a promise ring. I've had it for two years now. My boyfriend gave it to me. It's just a promise ring. I'm not married. I'm not engaged. And then sometimes I can't really blame people for asking that question because if this was the olden days, I'd probably have six children by now and have been married since I was 12. So can't really blame anybody for asking a girl a question. Next question. The only thing I need to say is hell yes, I have wished i was the opposite sex and wished i was a guy before when i was younger i always wished i was a boy because they just seemed to have more freedom and like when they got older they were allowed to do things before girls could like go out until late times of night because i guess they're so butch and they can handle themselves whatever the 19th question one thing that i wish i could change about myself is i wish i had more willpower to like start things and actually finish doing them uh yeah that would be the one thing i wish i could change about myself last and final question what is your favorite color my favorite color i would say is black but every time i tell somebody that their comeback is oh black isn't a color it's a shade so um to answer that i would just say blue because it's between black and blue they're pretty much evenly tied i love red as well but black and blue float my boat so everybody, this is Heather signing out, saying peace out to the world. Love y'all. Um, everybody have a blessed weekend. Everybody stay safe. And I love y'all. Bye.